Hello boys and girls, this is Mr. O, and you are watching another episode of Mr. O Reads Messages with cats. Or with cat. The first message is from a uh, regular correspondent, Ella Chan, who writes, Hi Mr. O, what is your favourite video game or computer game? Mine is Adopt Me. Roblox. You can find out more about that game if you watch my videos. Uh, okay, I have never played Roblox, uh, but it does sound quite fun. I think you can create your own games in it or something. Um, I'm a bit old-fashioned, I like older games like Pac-Man, Super Mario, Sonic the Hedgehog, but uh, recently I've been playing a lot of Toe Jam and Earl, uh, which is a pretty old game. I've never completed it, even after 20 years, I'm still trying to get to the end of that game. Uh, my second message is from Aiden Zhang, or Aiden Sang. Uh, he says, here is my channel link. You can subscribe. Thank you, Aiden. I will. Also, I noticed that your hair was different in MTR Games 4 when you used the green screen. Yes. So MTR Games 4 took a long time to finish because I wanted to make the uh, um, Station Walk game. So it took a really, really long time. Um, and in fact, I've got several different haircuts. I have got the one right at the beginning when I'm in Kowloon Station, uh, the one uh, where I'm doing the green screen, um, and then it's totally different where I'm recording the uh, escalator game stuff. Um, and there's also a shot of me looking over the game and that is also at another time. The whole thing was recorded at different times over about 18 months. So it's a very long process. My next one is from um, a uh, somebody, they just wanted me to use their initials, that means the first letter of their name, and they uh, are the first letter of their name, their initial is J. So hello J. Uh, J says, I want to know how to use a bottle like a pro. Next one is from another regular correspondent, Sonia Wong, who writes, Hi Mr. O, it's me again. Today I have some important news to tell you. Ooh. I have watched your video, Mr. O uh, plays Nim Variants, uh, game number eight, and I found out that whenever the one who starts first, they must lose. I found out this theory when playing this with my dad. You can try it. This theory is only suitable for two people playing the game. And she sent another message, just a, a correction, referring to my first message. Sorry, it should be the one who speaks 4, 8, 12 and 16 must win the game. Yes, this is true. This is the only variant that's what we call a, a solved game. So there's actually a way that you know that you will always win it. Which means that it's once you know, it's not so much fun, although you can try and trick other people. Yes, if you are the second person, and if you say 4, 8, 12 and 16, and then 20, you will definitely win. Um, one thing that you can do is to just pick a different number with whoever you're playing with. Um, maybe a bigger number, um, I don't know, 35 or something. And then once you are playing with that, you, you won't have any strategy. So it makes the game a little bit more fair. But uh, well spotted, son. My next message is from Chloe Ho. Hello, Chloe. Mr. O, she says, you are a good teacher. Thank you. Thank you very much for saying so. When will we go back to school? On the 29th? Uh, no. 
on the 23rd. In fact, we've already gone back to school by the time that I am making this video. Uh, we've been back at school for three days. When will you make MTR Games 5? Soon, I promise. I really promise. I want you to watch the Frozen Coronavirus video. Okay, here we go. Yes, that is very silly. That is very good. I want you to answer this message in a video. Bye bye, Mr. O. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you for writing. Lovely. The next message is from an old student of mine. She is using her initials, HT. She says, hello, Mr. O. I saw your video and you asked me how to read uh, cooked rice and uncooked rice in Japanese. But please don't use English readings to read Japanese because their sound will be different. I won't describe how to read them because I don't know how to say it. I hope more people will subscribe to you. All right, well, I'm sorry for trying to say those words. Thank you, HT, for saying more people should subscribe to me. Um, I would like that too. When I look at the videos and how many people are watching them, um, only a small number are subscribed. So if everybody that watched my videos was also subscribed, that would be pretty amazing. So uh, subscribe and hit that bell and like and all of that stuff. Uh, these next messages are from Metahan. Metahan says, I think you are correct, Mr. O. Sincerely, Metahan. Cheers. Thanks. I don't know what I'm correct about, but I'm very happy to be correct. Metahan also sent me a message saying, Hi, Mr. O. Have you played Roblox or Minecraft before? No, I haven't. I will do. Uh, if you have played Roblox before, email me your name, please. Bye. See you soon. I guess you can connect with other players. On Roblox. Hello Mr. O, can you make another video of Mr. O reads messages with cats? I'm doing that right now. If you can, can you please put me in? Yes! Here you are. And the last message, hello Mr. O, can you please subscribe to my channel? Here is the link. Yes, Metahan, I would be very happy to. My next message is from Jane Lowe. She says, Dear Mr. O, I love your videos. Thank you. They are absolutely fantastic. I do wonder how you do all those special happenings. I think she means the special effects. There are many videos that I like, but my favorites are Mr. O Reads. What else do you do? <laughs> I know that, I know you can't only be doing videos. Do you like teaching better or doing videos? Mm, I really love teaching and making videos. I think I probably love teaching more because uh, when I'm making videos, I'm basically just talking to a camera. But when I teach, I can talk to real people, real children. So I think I like teaching more, uh, but I do enjoy videos as well. The last message is actually from two people, brother and sister, Gabriel and uh, Adrienne. And Gabriel says, hi, Mr. O, do you know how to rap? Because me and my sister challenge you to a rap battle. Challenge accepted. Hi, remember me, Mr. O? Actually, I'm almost done with the video. Get ready to be in the pit. You are challenging me to a rap battle. Okay. I'm ready. Watch this. Yo, my name is Mr. O. Put down your umbrella, cause my typhoon's gonna blow. I fly much higher than a crow or a flamingo. I need some flour and water, and I make a lovely pizza dough. It's lovely. I know how to sew, and that a female deer is called a doe. A doe. If you see me after dark, you may think my skin can glow. No! I've got my talent in my big toe, or my little, little toe, toe, or in my elbow, 
or in my middle toe. I've got more rings than Bilbo or Frodo. I like to play games like Cluedo or Monopoly. I rap in Hong Kong from Chung Kwa No to Tai O and Tai Po and Sai Wan Ho and Shek O and Lama Do and up in low. Woo. Or maybe Guangzhou. You know I can mow with so much flow in a meadow. I can grow mustachios or wear a dress like Marilyn Monroe. I can paint like Henri Russo or Vincent Van Gogh or Sufumato like Michelangelo. Is me a turtle? No, I sing falsetto and I will do the fandango. Let me go. They know my name from Bordeaux to San Francisco and from Monaco to Montenegro and Borneo and Tokyo in Tokyo. So let me know if you can undergo this rap show or be a no show. If you're a pro or a nouveau, or if you're so-so, like I don't know. And if you are a hero with a good flow, and not a zero with a low blow, then hit me back with your rap video at the link in the description below.